The Port Authority announcing that it will no longer allow homeless people to sleep overnight at LaGuardia Airport. This decision coming hours after our exclusive report last night showed people sleeping on the floors and bathing in the airport bathrooms. CBS 2's Meg Baker with more on the people who've been living at LaGuardia. It's the busy travel season, and if you go to LaGuardia Airport, you may be surprised to see this under the Christmas tree. Homeless people living at the airport. This is 2 o'clock in the morning. You see a person asleep in a wheelchair with plastic bags full of belongings. People sleeping on window ledges, camped out in sleeping bags, and even people bathing themselves in the public bathrooms, cleaning themselves and their clothing in full public view. Yeah, I've been staying here for a while. Most of everybody here is homeless. A homeless 68-year-old man who told us he's been staying at LGA for years began talking to me near baggage claim in Terminal B. He prefers to stay at the airport because he feels safe, pointing out security. Cameras. You're much safer here than in a shelter. Because with all this stuff here, I can get knives, I can have bed bugs on me, rice. I'm yeah. 68 years old. I don't need that. Mm -hmm. I said, much seeing it all day. He says the others around him have been here just as long. It's down a little further, mm -hmm. right? And people, they're camped out there. I mean, a lot of people upstairs. Okay. How many people do you think could stay here? Maybe 100. At 2.30 a.m., we counted more than 50 people asleep in the food court, near baggage claim, waiting areas, and tucked away near bathrooms, and noticed an overwhelming smell where they congregate. Using the public restrooms to groom themselves, this man shaving himself and bathing in the sink. People are working now. They're living from paycheck to paycheck. You know, they're one paycheck away from sitting where I'm, I'm sitting. Isn't that sad? Others living here not as friendly, like these two people with cats. And this is what concerns passengers waiting for early flights. You kind of forget on a day to day basis that people are living like this every single day. It's not good for the tourism either, you know, for the people to see when they get here. That there's, you know, in the United States, people living in the airport. The Port Authority police said, well, they don't really bother us or nothing like that. Yeah. As long as you're not a knucklehead. During the day, he takes a bus and then a subway to the meatpacking district to panhandle and get food, but always comes back to his seat in front of the TV at the airport. Within the past hour, the Port Authority police responded to our report, saying their outreach group, Volunteers of America, tries to help the homeless every single night, but they refuse. The Port Authority also issued a statement saying people will no longer be able to stay at the airport from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. without a reason. Now, to meet our public safety mandate, we will close the LaGuardia terminal to all but ticketed passengers during late night hours to ensure a safe and secure environment. Arrests are made when laws are violated. Maurice and Christine, it's a very sad situation, and everyone involved is trying to handle it with some compassion. Excellent reporting, Meg. Bringing home a story most of us had no idea about. The, the images really speak for themselves. They do. Thank you, Thank Meg. Thank you.